All right, blog. Another blog. Vlog. Video blog. Uh, so we just had our August, mid-August 2018 event. Lots of new people, lots of fun. We're out here at Camp Senua. I'm picking up the old trail signs. We tested out some trail signs this time. And um, we got a pretty good idea of what we want to do to show the level, the name, the QR code, which you can scan with your smartphone. Goes right to the directory so you can post your review. Um, looking good. I mean, based on the new maps and the new um, signs and such, we are able to let smaller groups go out and adventure. We're going to try to do this for 2019 and beyond to train the trail guides, elders, and trail ambassadors so that they can take groups out um, without it being a huge event. You don't have to wait in line. There's not going to be 50,000 Jeeps. It's just going to be, you know, something more casual, something that a small group of buddies can go out and have fun crawling some trails um, as long as one of them is a trail guide are part of uh, the elder system in uh, the World Legal Full Drive and go out that way. The maps are working well. Like I said, the directory is working well. And we have where now we're going to be where people can download the maps and write the reviews. And we're going to turn those into events called geocrawls where specific map listings in the directory will be worth points. And then over a span of time, you go, you review these listings, and then it counts kind of like a poker run sheet. It's like a stamp out of poker run sheet. And then when the event's done, we tally up the points and um, do the drawing based on that. So fun idea, good stuff, good way to incorporate the technology and the old school map stuff and put them together and make a geo crawl. Um, gosh, it's just gorgeous out here. In the middle of summer, Camp Sinoa, it's hard to beat. Uh, just, you hear nothing except the wilderness, and that's so cool. Um, so once we have the real maps up, oh, and here's kind of like what we're doing with the, with the trail sign. So we got the name of the trail. This will be an actual state-mandated font that right now it's not. The level, and then down here is the space for why that trail is that level. So if it's a level five, it may say level five rocks, level five uh, hills, level five um, obstacle or water hazard or um, below ground plane. Won't actually say water hazard. It'll say below ground plane. So that way you can say, okay, a level five for hills might actually only be a level three trail, but because it has a slope that has a degree grade of four, 20 to 25 degrees you know if you're not comfortable doing hills you can say oh that's a level that's a level five trail because of a level five hill and that way you can make a judgment call if you want to do rocks or not rocks or hills or not hills or water or not water it's going to tell you that stuff so you don't have to guess and that's the idea is to give you more depth on this trail rating system so that you can make better decisions as to what types of trails you want to visit. And then again, do the reviews on the website. There'll be a little QR code here, the link to the, to the directory. And then that'll give you the opportunity to tell you, tell us how you like the trail. Or if there's, let's say there's a washout or a hazard, or let's say a huge log is down that shouldn't be down or, you know, something like a trail sign got ripped off or something. You can give us feedback, and then we take and put that into the system to, to fix it. So, neat stuff. And the test went well. I don't think anybody had any problems. We could have let people out there. If they were trail guides, you know, you got two people, go, have fun, you know. The idea is to get more rides that you can do freely at your, at your leisure. So, this is, concludes uh, another vlog. We'll see you in the next one. See you on the trails. Thanks, everybody, for coming out to events, joining uh, the association, joining the local chapters, helping out, volunteering, uh, brushing this stuff. I could not thank the trail volunteers for placing the rock, building the log crawls with us, brushing the trails. I mean, right now we don't have big gear uh, equipment. We don't have the huge brush hogs and stuff to clear trails easily. It's all by hand right now. 
And that takes a lot of man hours and woman hours, people hours. I don't know. And it wears on volunteers. So the more people we have, the less each volunteer has to do. So if you could help out and snip some, snip some prune, prune, prune some snippings and stuff for a few hours, that'd be great. Sorry, I'm really tired. I'm going to end this blog now. I'm Ryan. See you on the trails. Thanks for watching.